Good morning, guys. You probably can't tell. It's snowing. It's really cold. It's supposed to get down to like nine degrees today. Ooh, this thing, okay. Um, it's supposed to get down to like nine degrees today. It's really windy. You can probably hear it, but if you look at the tree, well, it's not gusty. Ooh, that's ice. So I have to go to Walmart. Um, it's kind of slushy and icy over here, but it's icy everywhere else. Anyway. Oh, my door's frozen shut. Okay. I have to go to Walmart to pick up some final Christmas gifts for family. I made photo books. I do it a lot. I make photo books of the girls for people. That's ice, too. Everything's, everything's ice right now. Anyway, we're going to go to Walmart. We're going to pick up some stuff. Kind of finishing up some stuff for Christmas. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so all of our really big family parties are on Christmas Eve. We go to Danny's family's first, and then my family's after. Um, and both of them are starting earlier than usual. So we were all excited when Danny's family's was starting earlier. And like, oh, we're gonna have more time over there. And then my family's like, hey, we're starting ours earlier. It's like, okay, great. But I guess that just means we get to get home earlier, get to bed earlier. Because a lot of times we don't get home till like 10, 11 o'clock from my family's, which is a lot for the kids. So hopefully we're home just a little bit earlier and get them in bed and then we'll have a better night of Christmas Eve and a Christmas day. But anyway, off to Walmart. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you a little bit about packing for Disney. Um, so we are going to be using these um, personal bag bags, personal item bags. Um, they look like this, so they come, they're like $8 or something on Amazon. Um, they come all folded up like this, and then they undo, undo the little bag. Now, most people are going to say, you're crazy. Um, I don't pack a lot. I'm not like a materialistic person, so I don't bring like my entire house with me. I don't need a checked bag. I don't need all of that stuff. So um, we're gonna do one of these bags for me and then I'll be able to get all the kids stuff in one bag and then Danny's gonna have one bag but since we have five people, we'll have two extra bags. So we're gonna pack one um, with like electronics and maybe a few other things. Now we obviously don't know what the weather's gonna be like. I've been keeping an eye on it. Right now in Florida, it's gonna be like freezing for Christmas but then it's supposed to warm up a little bit. So I think as of right now, we're looking at like low mid 50s high of in the 80s um for me i'm okay starting the race in my outfits that i have so let's see i got these skin colored um fleece lined leggings that i'll wear if it gets too cold out but all of my costumes are either a um shorts or a skirt so let me kind of get some of this stuff out of here so those are my little hats changing bed sheets right now so ignore that but anyway um so like here is one of my costumes let me show you so this is the one because it's like a 90 90s theme for the entire weekend i made this myself i designed it myself i do sell this in my etsy store um, I've had a lot of people buy it, so I'll probably be matching a lot of people as well. But, um, so I made the top and this is just like, um, it's just material. It's not, it's not supportive. So this will go over my regular running sports bra that I will wear. And then I have these shorts as well. Now I have these shorts that are a little bit thicker for if the fabric's kind of thin, cause my power line costume, these shorts are a little bit thin. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but they're a little bit thin. So I got these shorts to wear underneath of anything that's a little bit thin. But in the case that it is really cold out, I got those fleece leggings. So this is pretty much matches me for the most part. I mean, not super great, but it still matches enough. And that way I can still wear my shorts and get like the full costume. So if I'm wearing my skirt or whatever, that's fine. But I can also wear like my longer like black leggings underneath of it. But I figured I'd wear the little skin um, tone leggings underneath of any of my costumes. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to bring a top that's the same or if I'm just gonna do like a sweatshirt and then I'll tie it around my waist. Um, I do have blankets that I can dispose of that I'm gonna have delivered to the hotel because we're gonna do like a Walmart pickup. Not a Walmart pickup, we're gonna do a Walmart delivery to our hotel room. Um, we are staying at one of the all-star resorts that weekend. So I'm gonna have um, something 
delivered there and then Walmart has like a bunch of um, blankets on sale for like two bucks so I'm just gonna get a bunch of those and I'll just wrap myself in those discard them anything that you get rid of you can actually like throw layers or blankets or jackets whatever you don't want um, just off the course and they will come around and pick all that up and they'll donate those to people in need. So anything that I discard, I know it's still gonna get used somewhere. It's not like I'm wasting something. Somebody in need somewhere is gonna get whatever I discard. So gonna do that as well. So let me put the stuff back in here. Alrighty, this is a like compression knee wrap. These are just some shorts. I've pretty much got everything in there. I've got a bunch of shorts and stuff under here. All my costumes are rolled up on the bottom. I've got these here. And then these are sunglasses for my Paraline costume. I've got my noon here that I'm going to use. And then I also got two hats online um, off of Etsy. <laughs> and I got my Powerline one, got my dopey one. So they all fit right in here. And then I'm just kind of waiting to see what else I need to pack. So what's good about the races is that I'm gonna get six race shirts and they probably are gonna be long sleeve, but that's gonna be okay. I don't necessarily have to pack a bunch of shirts because I'm gonna be bringing home six shirts, which means that I can wash them at the resort and wear them at the resort um, and basically omit that from my luggage um, on the way down. So, so far, this is what we're looking at. And I honestly, I don't have a whole lot past this other than maybe another like pair of leggings or shorts. Just depending on the weather, I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt and my winter jacket onto the airplane. So that doesn't need to go in a bag. Whoop, there we go. Um, so I don't need a place to put that in the bag. I will just be bringing that with me and wearing it. For this pink one right now, I have just like a whole half of a box of four or five T diapers for Everly and um, a pack of wipes right there. I'm gonna get one of those like drawstring backpacks and just put it in here. That's what we're gonna use as a diaper bag. So I'm not gonna be bringing a whole diaper bag with me. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna be putting in here. Maybe like electronic cords and cables and stuff for their iPads or maybe something else. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I'll still have I'll still have two more bags left over, one for kids' clothes and one for something else. We're thinking about bringing our Nintendo Switch because the kids really like playing Mario Party and Mario Kart. So that's something they can do in the hotel room while we're just kind of at the hotel or when they're waiting for me to be done. But right now, that is what we're looking at. We've just got most of my stuff and we've got some kids' stuff. Guys, I haven't been doing a very good job vlogging today. We really haven't been doing a whole lot. We just kind of just been sitting around doing a whole lot of nothing. But I, where's my food? There it is. I'm getting hungry. So it's just about bedtime here. We've kind of been putting the kids to bed and whatnot. Um, and I'm getting hungry. I made everybody like chicken and fries and I made Danny some of his um, chicken sandwiches and whatnot. And I am going to have a Mediterranean meal because it's delicious. Um, I'm gonna have that, but I've wrapped some presents. I finished doing some Christmas shopping. I went to Walmart and picked stuff up really early this morning that I needed to pick up. Got some gift cards and all that stuff. So I'll show you basically all the presents that we have, pretty much. So this is for Danny's side of the family. So um, that's just all of our like family gifts and uh, white elephant and stuff like that. And then Secret Santa we have. Um, but we did, if you, you probably saw the vlog. If you haven't seen the vlog yet, we did buy a really, really big swing set for the whole family. So basically all of the kids, anybody that has kids, Danny's parents, anybody like that is part of that big family gift. So that's what we got for the whole family, this big, 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 massive swing set for everyone. And if the person did not have kids or is like an older kid, so um, Danny has, um, like a niece and a nephew that are over 18, like, you know, they're not gonna be playing on it. So I got them stuff and then um, like his brother and his one sister who don't have any kids, I got them something else as well because they're obviously not gonna benefit from it. So anyway, so we do not have a ton of presents that we're taking over there, which actually feels kind of really nice that like we're able to get like this really, really big gift for everyone and then we don't have to worry about like picking out individual things and taking all that stuff over. I know a lot of people like that, but for me, that's a lot less stressful. Then for my grandparents, I got them a photo book of the kids. So um, that's what is in there. I made a photo book and that's what I picked up at Walmart. Um, just had it printed at our Walmart. 
And then this one, which looks like a basket on fire, that is my white elephant gift that has that like reading basket. So it's got like fuzzy socks and hot chocolate and a book and a cozy blanket and stuff like that. So that is like a little reading nook, cozy corner box, but it just looks like a basket on fire. That's kind of what it looks like. So here's what this looks like. And it has a tahini sauce on it and it is so delicious. I know this probably doesn't look great to a lot of people, but guys, this is one of my favorites. It's so good. If you haven't tried Mediterranean food before, try it. It's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. I know there's not a whole lot in here, but Maddie's sleeping on the sofa here. We're having a sleepover party and uh, we were watching some of her favorite things on TV, but she crashed pretty quick today. So having a sleepover party before Christmas Eve. So the next vlogs you see are going to be our Christmas Eve vlog and Christmas Day vlog. And I think we kind of survived Vlogmas. We got a video out every day on the day, not late, like later on some days, but not like a day late. I got a video out every single day. So I think we've survived kind of. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.